trying this again my 78 Ford F-250 Ranger XLT it's not all beat to hell got a lot of shit in the back the side's not all tore up the seat is ripped and doesn't need a new carpet but the body's in pretty good shape that's the worst dent in the whole truck and that's what it's got under the hood 400M 4 inch bore and a 4 inch stroke connected to a 4 speed with a massive fucking radiator massive radiator this thing never gets hot takes forever for it to warm up in the mornings too geez takes forever sometimes pretty ridiculous got two ignition systems running under here got a cell super coil there and a stock coil there running over here do the, the stock ignition box with a spare box on the side ignition burns out I'm still going down the road spare regulator back there yeah don't you like my custom choke kick down so the choke ain't hooked up on this curb so I just got it locked open yeah it's a pretty good truck It's always ran real well. Always starts. And yes, that does work. And yes, I have another one that goes on the back. Good to have, good to have. It's pulled my ass out of a hole a couple times. It's good to have. That's my truck, man. It's a good truck. Love it. They don't burn no oil either. I had to put oil in it in almost uh, 2,500 miles now since the last time I changed it. Haven't had to put a cord in it yet. But I did just replace all the damn seals on the damn thing. Replaced everything but the timing chain cover gasket and the oil pan gasket. Well, no, uh, the front seal, excuse me. Got a new oil pan gasket, new rear main seal, new exhaust manifold gaskets, new manifold gaskets. Um, I just dumped a bunch of money into this thing. Got a new clutch in it, new flywheel, new pressure plate, new throwout bearing, new pressure plate, all that. But it's time for some new tires. And it does have the good metal hubs, not the stupid fucking plastic ones. You can grab those with a pair of fucking channel locks and twist them fuckers if they get stuck. And it's got this locking toolbox, which I have tannerite and fire extinguishers in. Imagine that. It's like three pounds of tannerite in there. Push my winch cable, controls and all that shit. Air filter, a couple screwdrivers, a start button spare battery cable just your basics that's my truck and yeah look see split level cooling there and cooling there see it says high output heater yeah the heater blew up in it the other day though heater don't work right now heater core fucking blew up me it blew big too boy Jesus I'm out.